Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Rakdos mid-range. We have a nice donation deck here from Joyv, the maker of the Gruul dinosaurs that we've played plenty before, but this is a new one here that looks really interesting. We haven't, I, at least myself, I haven't played a Rakdos mid-range in this new format. And this is a pretty sweet original deck here. Definitely interested to try this out. <clears throat> so looking at what we have here, we got four duress main deck, which is actually just a really good call with how this metagame is these days. Um, duress is just good against everybody. There's just not like decks that duress isn't good against. Um, light of the stage with five drops, that's okay. Light of the stage is going to help us hit our land drops and everything. And and if we do hit a five drop early and we can't play it, that's okay. I think light of light of the stage in this deck is going to be different from like light up the stage in mono red where light up the stage in mono red you want to get it like right away you want to light up the stage because you can because because you can hit like your second third land drop right away and you you know you're going to be able to cast your spells live the stage in this deck is going to be something that we are um going to be like using later on in the game after you know like we're interacting with the first two three four turns and then later on we use our light up to uh make sure you know just uh be our divination basically um our late game divination but yeah we got dread horde butchers because this is just a really solid card with the haste especially with all the planeswalkers around and we got got some different ways to kill the planeswalkers with rampage bedevil we can go upstairs with strike and shock reveler can also help refill our hand in the late game um but yeah that's that's uh that's kind of what we got. Let's see how let's see how it works. Sarkin and Grath are, are both awesome finishers. Chandra's a good um, card advantage engine. Rekindling Phoenix is just a really strong card. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of solid things here. This looks like it'll be pretty interesting. Let's give it a try. So with the donation decks, always go to the traditional constructed queue and play until we win five or lose two, whichever comes first. <laughs> Not another pyro? Oh no! Oh, I didn't. I didn't change the avatar to Lazav. Dang. This looks. I can't tell if this is a keep or a snap keep. But I think we'll keep shuffling. That is. Keep shuffling. All right. Well. Let's give it a try. I'd rather have a bunch of lands than a bunch of, than like too many, sp I'd rather have too many lands here at the opener. Because we're at 23 land deck, right? So I was expecting after keeping the five lands, we'll draw some spells. There's a shock. Just cast this right now. Get rid of that thing. Next turn, I think I'm going to be leading off with this light at the stage. Yeah. Okay, we can play both of those next turn. He's just divination. Ooh. I don't have coils for that Seraph. Hmm, Seraph's a good one. <laughs> Tulsimer. Yuck. Hmm. 
Our deck's fighting hard, though, for, you know, how little we had and how far behind we were. We're fighting hard here. <laughs> our, our opponent's kind of curving on us here. A little better than we are. Hopefully we've got some lava coils in the sideboard. You don't see a whole lot of... Yeah, we got a couple. You don't see a ton of Seraph of the Scales, but that's a good one. Ooh, speaking of good ones. Yeah, I need to pick Lazav. This is Bolas' fault. Hey, what's up, KZ? I know, I asked, I asked, I was like, hey, what, what avatar do you want me to be? And you told me, and then I did other things, and then started the video and forgot to change. Yothakaya for the win. Nobody ever expects it. Alright, get a couple coils in here. I guess I probably want Fiery Cannonade. Against Hero Precinct 1 and like Seraph tokens and everything. I think so. I don't think this is going to be a Dreadhorde Butcher matchup with them having all these like little tokens and everything. Do I want to fight with fire? Not really. You don't think I want duress? And they do have a decent amount of creatures, but Duress is still good. I have to play the two cast downs over two Duress. Like they're gonna have like they're gonna have Sorens and Vraskas and Vivians. They're gonna have a lot of planeswalkers. Abzan Hero. We'll go with this. Could have Kaya. But definitely Little Vraska, Soren. All those removal spells. We're not going to be playing like the spell right away, though. We'll give him a turn to draw a spell there. Two Oath of Kaya and a Moment of Craving. Hey, Popsicle. I want to get rid of the cast down. Would Midnight Reaper be better than Reveler in this deck? I don't know. I... I don't know if I like would like Midnight Reaper in this deck. Were they costing three mana with only that two toughness without like other um, Ready 
Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'd like Midnight Reaper here. So it's, it's just kind of slow, expensive, deals more damage to you. Uh so Vraska Othakaya can team up to kill either Phoenix or Sarkin. Which I guess Sarkin's better than Phoenix. They can like, you know, Othakaya shoot the Phoenix. And then Vraska minus to kill it. They could do the same thing with Sarkin. If I play Sarkin and minus. Oh, that's... I guess I'm going to play Sarkin and plus, I guess. You will feel the lick of my flames. I will call the dragon. Can't really minus and let it just die to Othakaya. Yeah, they only need one black source cuz they just had to play Othakaya to kill uh, like the Phoenix, and then the, the Vraska Minus would kill the other thing. Wow. Just destroying their own land to try to hit a land drop or something. Sorry, excuse me. I was hoping to hit Angrath's Rampage there. How could I have lost? It's unfortunate. As long as we win, nothing else matters. The mountain's not in my hand. I don't know if just cycling the Remodi Reveler is good enough. I may want that cast down. I kind of wish that cast down was was duress though. Would have cast down was duress would have been able to take that contempt. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. I'm dead. Yeah, I can't. I can't get out of this. I guess I need to attack the Vraska with the Sarkin, but we wouldn't. We wouldn't have killed it. I guess I need to do that. I can't get out of this. Um, if I. If I wait, if I cast down one of these things, they they Othakaya kill kill this, and they have two attackers. They're both lethal. Um, basically, either way, I can like either whichever one of these I play can get rid of one, but they just Othakaya my blocker, and because they have minus nine, and I lose the game. I guess I make them do that. Like I couldn't like the reason why I plussed on Sarkin because. Othakai would have killed Sarkin if I minused, and then they have this Frasca to kill the token that it makes. The plus on Sarkin was definitely the right play. It's just the next they ended up having a contempt. I could have I could have attacked. Um, I could have attacked the Vraska down to like one. And then not cast the light of the stage that turn. Wait till the next turn. You know, basically wait till the next turn to cast light of the stage for the full three. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I definitely need to plus the Sarkin the second time still. Because otherwise, same thing would have happened if I would have just minus. The, they had five loyalty Vraska. If I just minus, they could still Othakaya kill my Sarkin. Oh, I didn't change this to... Hmm.
All right, Bolas, you better do some good work for me. Of course, struggling turning on spectacle, obviously, with this deck. It's just that's okay. I think my plan is light up the stage next turn. I probably want to light up the stage later. I definitely want these lands. Since we're just a twenty-three land deck, I don't I don't want to risk not having the land. A risk I can't take. I'm, you know, they're making me look dumb with double land drop here, but oh well. Couldn't one of these two lands be like in one of these two and then give us one of those other ones? Can't things work out? So Sacred Foundry, huh? Playing some heroic reinforcements over there. <laughs> yeah, I think we did get the... Yeah, we got like one of the, the worst possible draw draw from the Reveler plus draw step and then two cards off light at the stage. It's just, we're just getting the worst possibles here. the worst possibles. And that's going to be my new new band name, Worst Possibles. So what kind of early removal, what kind of removal we got for game two? We got a couple fiery cannades. We'll have more, all the cast downs, coils, fight with fires, cannonades. Sideboard just has tons and tons of removal. <laughs> We're not beating double history, Benalia. Luxodon, too. Uh, I'll let you play your Lux Don. All right, we got all those. Hey, I'm taking out light at the stage. And Reveler. Just, just all... I'm going to keep in these Planeswalkers. So we're just going to have all, like, removal, then Planeswalkers, basically. And hope hope these things just take over. But, like, the all the first parts of the game, I want to be killing everything. Duress is pretty good in this matchup with, like, their all their enchantment removal, history banalias, all that kind of stuff. Like, they have lots of spells, just like every deck. But I don't know if I want all four... Yeah, Fiery Cat needs our sweeper here. Um, I 
Sarkin's gonna be better than Angrath. The problem is, like, turning on Drill, we're not gonna turn on Drill Bit. So, Drill Bit's gonna cost three mana. I think we need the one mana for Duress. Because we're not turning on Drill Bit. Hmm. This is kind of how it went with the Simic deck a lot, too. I have not had a fortunate hands here in a while. We haven't had, like, three lands, four spells kind of stuff too much. <laughs> yeah, the Shuffler has been pretty brutal for us. In the last seven rounds. Yep, it's all Bolus's fault. I didn't change Bolus. Oh, can't even play that. We had three lands in the deck that would have come into play tapped there. Gruel deck played earlier today is a tier tier two deck, tier one. Probably a tier tier two deck. It it does attack really well. Um there are you know, but I, I'm not a hundred percent sold that playing Ilharg is better than playing Sarkin and Nissa, basically. There's a lot of good stuff in Gruel though. All right, we're going to go ahead and just retry this. <laughs> Never happens to you there. All right, well, that was a really quick for a donation deck. So let's let's uh, switch our avatar. Like it was supposed to be. Say and who you say it to. Yeah, hype, hype train. I was earlier today. It's definitely possible. I was... As you can see, I was 3-2 in, in Mythic with it earlier, um, but I, I was 2-0 off stream with Gruul as well. All right, running it back, starting over. That first part never happened. We're going to be Lazav now. Gruel is definitely better than Teamer. You don't need to mess up your mana base for that, for the counter magic. With everybody playing Lil Teferi right now, counter magic's just not very good. Okay. So they kept they kept Basic Island. Basic Island? Yeah, the list out that I was playing earlier is in on the Stream Decker page there. Um, for the the Gruel deck. So basically, I wanted to be playing Phoenix and Angrath the next couple of turns. I didn't really need the light of the stage yet. I wanted to save the light of the stage. Um, if 
for after those two cards, basically. I'm on the YouTube channel here, too. So here's, here's the... There's the uh, YouTube video of Gruul, also. They should definitely be taking Reveler. Dang. They did. You're welcome, Hype Train. I mean, I should have just been attacking with this Butcher every single turn, I guess. Let's keep testing them, see if they... Don't block. Um... I guess if they have like another thought erasure, it's good to like just not have. Yeah, they had no thought erasure, not have cards in hand. I don't. Like, did they think I had that reveler in hand? Like, maybe because of how this is set up. So play Reveler, discard Phoenix, and draw three. Or just play Phoenix that's going to kill my opponent. I should probably just play Phoenix that kills the opponent. So they're playing Demir stuff. Bunch of spells with Augur Bolo. So Enter the God Eternals is going to be a big one here. Angrath seems awesome. Sarkin not so bad either. But I can't... I don't really know if I want to play more. I don't know if I want to play all five, five drops. I think I don't want shock. And I do want drill bit. All right, let's go here. Yeah, yesterday and today, this all this lag stuff has been get coming back. It was really good for a while, but it's been bad today. Okay, I'm glad to know this has happened. Been happening with some other streamers, and not just me. All right, no more Angrass Rampage. The past where I keep an open mind. Gate. Was not prepared. I take out the Narset right now. Hey, Balding Yeti, what's up?
I can't duress with mountain. Those who cannot hone your prowess. Can we draw black mana? Tilt. Yeah, light up gets around that Narset passive because yeah, we're not you're not just drawing cards. You put some cards in exile, then you can cast them from exile, but you're not technically drawing them. Recklessness and fear are the sea. Truth lies beyond vision. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lightning strike. Ugin, so that if we top deck a land, we can Angrath. Gossen Dang it. Mortals. Now they have Negate back up. Dang. So if we just drew any land, we would be able to Angrath, steal this 2 2, and kill Ugin. Yeah, either Duress or Angrass Rampage would have had to been gone for good. We had to get rid of one of them. And I I kept strike. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Yeah, basically like would have had to get rid of one of those cards. That was probably our best draw. We can just take care of the negate. Hmm. All right. Well, I think the Sugan has me. The opponent will get the card whenever the two two dies. Uh, if you steal, if you steal the two two, you don't get the card. Just try not to have three of our five five drops in our opener again. Um, hey, all good, Yun. What am I taking out? <clears throat> Ah, oh, Yud's getting that new tie. Always enjoy your content. Keep it up. You are amazing. Oh, thank you, Yud. You are amazing as well. Thank you. I'm kind of thinking about taking out one of these Remati Revelers. No. I'll take out a strike. If you had to choose between Mono Red versus White Weenie for the metagame, what would you choose? Probably Mono Red. Yeah, probably mono red. I like, I like chain whirler. I like the burn spells with all these planeswalkers. Yeah, I would, I would choose mono red. Um, I want land.
That thing costs six. This thing costs six. Can't really beat either one. Doesn't. Both of them are unbeatable. The foil hype is for the tier three subs. You need to be a, a tier three sub to get a foil hype out. All right, good. Means we're gonna be able to play Chandra next turn. Hey, over here! Let's light it up. Swamp. Not playing Kefnet. Just gonna be bad for you. Whew. That's a lot of removal. I'm still taking this Liliana. Alright, sorry, Dreadhorde Butcher. You are not <laughs> You are not long for this world. Oh, they have one blue mana. That'd be a, that would be a pretty good reason not to play Kefnet, to be honest. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Never see no fire, no steel. Yeah, the substreaks you get different color bat tie badges on the left on the left. What you get for the substreaks. Yeah, that butcher just didn't stand a chance, did it? Sit back and watch it burn. No fire, no steel. Hmm. All the lands. <laughs> Thanks, right, Vale. Hmm. I don't think I really need to minus seven, honestly. I already have like a lot of things no to play this turn. No fire, no steel. Okay, so we want Phoenix, Dreadhorde Butcher. Victory. All right, we just, that's what we need to do is switch to Lazav. Switch to Lazav, pick up a win. We are 1-0. Oh. Here we go. Play first. Uh, yep. Dreadhorde Butcher on the play. I will take it. Let's do it. Demir Te Tezzerator was really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. All right, I'll, I'll reset after this one. Go, Lance. Sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll reset here. Butcher is a solid card. Uh, we haven't. This is probably the best that. This is like the most we've used Butcher in any of the games so far. Of what like what, what we're doing right now. Just a. 
a good card, though. I really like it. All hasty and everything. Man. People love their Demir Agarabolus stuff. Get out of here. I kind of want to make a Jun deck with Dread Horde Butcher and Gruul Spellbreaker. I want to play those two cards. Those two cards are sweet. Yeah, and Collision Colossus? Yeah. Kind of like the Naya Feather. Like, the Naya Feather deck's awesome. I want to play that deck, but I also want to play Dread Horde Butcher. <laughs> Basically. They're just chumping with old Terry. All right. It's fine. I'll wait a turn, see if they can chump again. Nah. They kept that card on top pretty quickly. That's probably bad news. Can't really beat Enter the God Eternals. They have that. That's a good one. That's a winner. The Thought Erasure bug works again. I'm going to wait on playing this Dreadhorde Butcher because we know about like the Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think it's worth it just to play this out there because of that. How do I not have this Dreadhorde Butcher die to Cry of the Carnarium? I don't know if I can. I mean, they got that Thought Erasure. I just got to empty the stuff from my hand. Yeah, Deckmaster should be working. Anytime Deckmaster's not working, always try refreshing your stream. That usually takes care of it. So I have nothing now. They're at six. They have an active as Kanta plus two two good cards, the Thought Rager, and, and I guess the Thought Rager. Yeah, because if I draw a removal spell, they'll be able to Thought Rager, so. I 
Yeah, I do need to re refresh. I need, do need to restart the client for sure. You would have struck them and just start getting hit by a 5-5. Five five. I mean, if drawing the Angrath would have helped us out, though, against that 5-5. Five five. No fire, no steel. So we would be at 10 right now. They would have a 5-5. Five five. We would have been able to steal the 5-5. Five five. So yeah, if we would have lightning strike to them, we would we would have won right here. Because we drew one of our two Angraths. But, yeah. Okay. This is good signs. No Planeswalker removal. Bol Augur of Bolas didn't hit anything. They're going to at least be down to two. No fire, no steel. Gonna be able to finish this up. And <laughs> they played the land and discarded the Enter the God Eternals also. Ugh. All right. God. Got a couple of real lucky draws there with the uh, Angrath and, and just into Lightning Strike. Really just the Angrath. All right, so same kind of deck we were just playing against. Let's get the Drill Bits back in here. I do want all the Angraths. Um, I took out Shock and... What did I take out last time? I think I took out one Reveler, I think. Reveler was pretty sweet there. Maybe I, maybe I take up one. No, I took out one strike. That's right. Yeah, I took out one strike. That's how I sideboarded last time. Demir Tesserator. Thumbnail ready to go. Yud is awesome. All right, it has been updated now. Perfect. Man, that Tesserator one looks nice, too. That one looks really cool. Thank you, Yen. No final boss yet today. Maybe this league. No, not really any gates decks anymore. Um, gates decks don't deal with planeswalkers very well, and they're just planeswalkers everywhere. And so, not a good combination for gates there. So our opponent got disconnected, that's too bad. Hopefully they can reconnect.
looks like they just did get dis disconnected for good, unfortunately here. You play this deck like a red deck, but with later game options. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that. Okay. Well, I guess Lazav was probably doing something multifarious. Oh, I have a treasure chest now. I'm gonna go ahead and res restart the client here. Hopefully that will help with some of the lag issues we were just having. Magic the Gathering Arena. One hundred point six. Let's crack it. More wow cards. Woo! Vault. Vault rewards. All right, here we go. Two and zero. Let's compare it against Demir again, and again, and again, and again. Oh, you have you have your prediction for what's going to happen in in the series finale tomorrow? I don't want to hear it, though. Maybe. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper and take a picture of it or something. I don't know. I guess you could do that later, also though. Uh, we're facing other red deck wins. Which red deck is really going to win? Uh, prediction on the reactions, huh? That was a very good light up the stage. Another land and then get a Phoenix to drop in next turn. Good light up the stage. We're getting a lot better luck than whenever we had Nicol Bolas earlier. Yeah, we'll just take the two for one. Our light up the stage turns into a land drop plus trades with the, the lightning strike and the shock. Not a bad light up the stage. What? My hair is on fire. This is just going to be bad for you. Ah, uh, they had a wizard. No. There goes Chandra. Guess you don't need me anymore. I cast the shock because we 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 revealed the shock off of. Guess I should keep that. We revealed the shock off of Chandra. And so like that shock was gonna go away. So I just cast it. So instead of just keeping shock available for a steamkin, which was you know the original plan if we revealed nothing, I just got that two points in while I could. Well, now we're flooding out. Them being able to kill that Chandra like that was pretty rough.
I know, we gotta draw spells. We haven't been doing that. Why did I think of the draw spells? I should have should have thought of that. D polyphonic with the little bitties. Thank you so much, D polyphonic. Need my cheers emote. There's my cheers. There we go. I didn't like my chances of just like sitting there taking three forever from that chain whirler and with them just having the one card if they had two cards I wasn't blocking there but if they just had one card I think I'm like like with the one card I went with the went for the block I should have played the Dragon Skull Summit. There's no, there's no upside of keeping that in my hand. Yeah, because this makes me discard the card anyway. Dang. deck. Yeah, we're playing Angrath over Liliana. I mean, we only have 23 lands. Usually, 5 lands is kind of tough with 23 lands. We got double that. Almost triple that here. So I guess we're going to want more removal or more card advantage. Definitely want Angrath's. I don't think we really do very much sideboarding wise. I, think I basically just want to play this Angrath. I'd rather have Angrath than Sarkin maybe. Yeah, Cannonade's not so bad. That can take out, you know, multiple creatures and everything. That's pretty nice. We don't really have anything that's really that bad in our deck. Um, Yeah, but what what do I take out? Like dress dress is good against like all the red spells and everything. Yeah, cast down just kills stuff, kills chain whirler and everything. But we already have a whole lot of removal. I don't really see anything here that I want to take out. I mean, I could take out like Sarkin, I guess. Uh, maybe I just just take out the dresses and just let them have all the burn spells. All right, we could take out Rampage, but then. Their Chandra can be a problem if I take out Rampage. Because if I if I just take out so I yeah, trim to Bedevil, Rampage, and a couple duresses. If I just take out all the the Bedevils and Rampages, then if they play a Chandra, I'm like kinda dead.
All right, Reveler, get rid of one of these lands, please. And it begins. Let's draw Chandra. I'll take it. It's better than another land. So they're just sitting on two lands. So they have a, a ton of spells. Not too good for us. Good. With the Phoenix. Hopefully they can't cast that. No land, no land. Not giving them easy light up the stages. Just trading one for one. No, they drew the land. Uh, I thought for I really thought that Phoenix was just gonna be stuck over there, but it turned out their draw step was land, plus then their next draw step was another land. I really thought that Phoenix was gonna be stuck. Wow. Why didn't I bring in Coil? So I should have brought in Coil, I guess. Yeah, maybe I need to cut land with like that kind of matchup just being how cards trade. Cards can just trade a whole lot and it goes long and yeah, I just had too many lands, I guess. I guess the 23 was just too many. There's two coils in the sideboard. I could have brought in, I didn't. Shuffler hasn't liked me today. That's for sure. This is a really solid hand. There you go. Thank you, Shuffler. Shocking in Hallowed Fountain? I don't think that's for Spell Pierce. I think that's for Opt. Really? It was for Spell Pierce? Huh. Guess they got me. There are so many thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, I tried, I tried something else with Simic Midrange there. Um, it didn't work out too well. I was basically just trying like a different version of the Simic Yoink deck we played the other day. Hone your prowess. Won't forget our time together. Okay. So they don't have very much going on over there. Let's do this. Let's exile two cards. No oh no, a Phoenix. No. Evil thief.
I'm known for my excellent timing. You need to take a time out. Down, 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 down. For my freedom. <laughs> I just want to ferry off the battlefield. We will meet again. Why killing Narset there? Because they have cards like that one, like Sarkin, that reward you for having the planeswalker just on the battlefield. No sword can pierce me. Hold. All right. Well, you can only tick up. I want the no planeswalker fire, off the battlefield. No steel. Uh, what can I do with this Chandra ultimate? Chandra ultimate kill Sarkin. If I don't, then Angrath's dead. Chandra ult is seven. Easy ult kill Sarkin. I don't know if it's that easy. Yeah, I guess, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. A lot of wasted damage there. Ugh, we did have the shock. I didn't want to risk it. You know, we we hit we did hit the one shock, but I didn't I didn't want to risk it of us not hitting something and not being able to kill the Sarkin. So all those cards just go away now. to them roar no fire no steel might demands power yeah, all those cards are till end of turn. So that, like, that's the problem with ultimating the, the Chandra there is we just don't get a ton of value off of it. Basically, just change, turn Chandra into a Sarkin. But it did, it did protect Angrath and keep Angrath around. The past, present, and future. Well, we don't we don't know that we're gonna kill Sarkin with burn. You can't just guarantee that you're gonna have burn. Obviously, obviously, if we would have had a burn spell, if I if I knew we were just gonna hit a burn spell to be able to kill Sarkin, I would have yeah going having the ultimate go upstairs is definitely better. But we don't just necessarily know that that's gonna happen. No fire, no steel. When people start screaming, I know I'm on track. There's no problem fire can't solve. They are coming. I didn't, I didn't want to just assume that I was going to hit like a burn spell to kill the Sarkin and then not hit a burn spell to kill the Sarkin. And then have, you know, have the Sarkin still alive. Yeah, we have four strike and two shock. We have six, six total spells. That would have been like the burn spells there. Didn't want to risk it. I summon you. Why do they not minus Teferi and draw a card? They just put, like, I just have lethal there. Don't you want to just, like, draw a card, see if you have anything?
All right, so again, some Elder Spells, another Sarkin, another Angrath. Some Drill Bits. Everything's pretty good. Like, all these Burn Spells get to go up at Planeswalkers and everything. Maybe I don't want the extra Angrath. I guess I'm not going to play the drill bits. What am I taking out here? What do y'all see of like cards to take out? Like I guess I just take out shock. You think I should just cut the burn spells? They are good at like just firing off at these planeswalkers though. I do like that. I'm gonna cut a reveler or a light up the stage. How many anti planeswalker cards do you need? All of them? That's that's their whole deck. So we just should play all of them. Cut one Reveler, one Light Up the Stage. I don't, I don't envision the Reveler doing a ton. We have a couple to refill our hand in the late game, but the creatures, they have like Kasmina that makes 2-2s, two they have the Deafening Clarion, sweep it away, Sarkins, you know, make the 4-4s. Four No, I think Deafening Clarion is their sweeper in the main deck. I don't know about sideboard. They got more. I think it's only Clarion in the main. I don't think there is any Cleansing Nova in the main. Two shocks. I want to get rid of the Sahili. But Shock Shock Veto, that's annoying. That's annoying against my Dreadhorde Butcher plan. The two Shocks. I'm going to get a little bit more information before I... I'm playing Reveler over the other Butcher. I want the Reveler to get shocked and not the Butcher. But I want... Like, all there's nothing, like, here that, like, I want to just automatically discard to the Reveler. So I want to see, like, what the next draw step is. See if we get a little bit more information of, like, what to discard maybe to a Reveler. This butcher is not getting through. For another land for these phoenixes. <clears throat> Got that other land. Phoenix does match up really well against our opponent's hand. For sure. No. 
No more lands, though, please. Phoenix is just awesome. Yep, you're hellbent. You can just draw one with the Remodi Reveler. Hmm, that's weird. They wanted to trade Clarion plus Daredevil for my 2-2 two -two, when they could just shock the 2-2. Two -two. It's odd. It's a weird trade. All right, we are three and one. Okay, coming back here. Ugh. Got to win this one so we can get to the final boss. So we're we're done the next time we lose because you know we um, we're playing until we either win five or lose two. Now the yeah the first set doesn't count because we had we had Nicol Bolas that was holding us back, but now with Lazav we're three one. We're definitely not three three. Are we playing the same deck we just played, or is this Esper? It's either Esper or Jeskai. It's never just blue light. All right, Jeskai. So against Jeskai, I want to reveler away a lightning strike, I guess. All right, well, just have the strike replace itself. Get us closer to the Chandra. Let's slow this down. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Doubt it. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. This is hardly my worst defeat. I'll keep the bedevil for you know time that there's like more loyalty. Go, Chandra, go. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Yeah, I used to just stream modern all the time. I, was, I, I don't stream modern anymore, but that that's what I did for a couple years and played modern all the time. Uh, let's see. So I think I... I think I bedevil the dragon and hit Sarkin for one. A bold strike. 
D Polyphonic, tr tried any Vanifar decks recently? Not recently. Actually, I don't think I've I don't think I've played a Vanifar deck since War of the Spark. I I can't think of one that I have since then. Uh, previously in Ravnica Allegiance, definitely played a lot. Played Soltai, Teamer, Band, all those kind of things. All right, so they are just going to kill the Chandra. Trade Sarkin for Chandra. <laughs> Thanks, Bluebird. Well, that was a disaster. Oh, I can't can't deal the damage to Sarkin, huh? I guess it doesn't count as a Planeswalker. That's weird. That's kind of weird. Consume you. Impossible. The Gideons always say like they're a creature plus a planeswalker kind of thing, but so I guess Sarkin just says that it's now a creature and it's not a planeswalker <clears throat> anymore. Today's today's just been the worst with our internet in weeks here. Let us fight. <laughs> Magnificent. Kill this thing. All right. So let's go Elder Spell, Elder Spell. <clears throat> Other Sarkin. Maybe we don't want the drill bits. These games go kind of longer. They don't have the cards in hand anymore. Yeah, I'm kind of off these drill bits. That's what I'm off. So we'll cut... Two shocks and a strike. And keep light up the stage and remodi instead of keeping drill bit. I like that. Wanna be proactive? <clears throat> Four duress is enough. Ugh. Yeah, so that that's what I mean. I knew Gideon's wording that says that it's like the creature that's still a planeswalker. That's how all the all the Gideons have ever been worded. And so I was kind of assuming like that's how like basically all of them since like Rise of Eldrazi, you know, like all the Gideons have always just been like that. So that's why I was kind of assuming that the Sarkin was gonna be like that too, but I guess not. I guess Sarkin just says it's a creature. Bleh. Isn't our deck basically all red mana? We have 17 red sources. As far as basics go, we have five the five swamps and the one folly and and nine mountains. So it's like six black, nine red. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what this memorial folly. Like, I guess if we're ever going to use it, I guess it'll be this game. But I don't. I don't know if this card's necessary. Legion War Boss? Down, 
that was that was for modern the 2017 player of the year that was for modern sorry i'm late uh, that's basically basically all modern um didn't play very much standard uh when i did uh yeah i played a little bit of teamer energy um play like a like blue white approach <clears throat> but modern my deck was mostly green white green white company and Eldrazi Tron also like those are my two decks Eldrazi Tron and green white company value green white value town I won a tournament with each one of those that year. Do you? <laughs> hmm. to them roar we begin behold more sarkins everybody's got a sarkin That's really bad. Now their Sarkin kills my Sarkin. <clears throat> Knight of the Reliquary was the big thing that wasn't in standard for company that's in modern. Knight of the Reliquary is just a great creature. So if they would have blocked with War Boss, I would have been able to kill the War Boss. I was kind of hoping that they would block, but since they didn't block, we now have you know a two-two, and we're pressuring the Sarkin a little better. Look to the skies. But to, depending on what they found with their draw step. Ugh. Save their draw step and the opt. We I have awakened. They're gonna be doing okay there. All right, now it's not looking so good for us. Are you certain of your decision? Jeez. Hmm. 
Looks like we're going to a game three. Today I craft my victory. You never know, we can top deck Elder Spell. Elder Spell. What's up, Hawkeye? Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Waiting to eat some food. We gotta win this match and then win the next match also. That's the plan right now. All right, we want to draw Chandra. Chandra doesn't really help us, does it? I know how to stop you. What was the point of that, Minus? They think they're token at haste, maybe? Oh well, I'm dead. Don't need to show them this. Alright, just couldn't attack there. Definitely considering taking out a light at the stage for the other for the last Angrath. Angrath's good against Sarkin, like whenever they Sarkin minus for the token, steal the token, kill the Sarkin kind of thing, and it's good against War Boss, I guess, of like taking the War Boss. Um, I don't remember exactly what we played against with Simic Midrange. Our deck was, like, a little off. I, I didn't have good variants at all of, like, curving out, basically, ever. I, I basically, like, wasn't ever casting, like, Nyssa or Hydroid Crisis or things like that. It just... Our deck just performed pr really poorly. Well, I'm glad I didn't bring in the third Angrath right now. No problem. But yeah, that Civic Midrange is up on YouTube. All the other videos are all up on YouTube right now. So they have Spell Pierce. I guess they could have opt also. Yeah, we've seen opt. Yeah, so opt. Prison Realm to Fairy Time Waster. This is just a great hand. I think I want to take this Prism Realm, honestly. No, I should probably... Yeah, this is a really good hand.
Maybe the opt? Is a Narset just better than Teferi? You just minus them both. Hey Nordu, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the sub there. Sub number oh wait, that's sub number nine. It looks like. That's what according to MTG bot. I guess I missed one. So kept them from playing a Planeswalker. Now if we could just draw this fifth land here, it would be crucial. Come on, draw the land. 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 I am Come on, deck. Ugh. Not a land. The time we needed the land. Yep, one more sub to get that sub goal for tonight. Thank me later. BG. Thanks for the sun. Okay, say GG to, to BG. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Hey, Kurtash. Alright, so we'll crack open a pack after this, and I'll mark that towards our sub battle stream. Every time we hit a sub goal like that, it gets us closer to doing our sub battle stream. Wow, that was a great hand for the opponent. Yeah, that was pretty great. Wow. 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 That's That's about all I got to say. That that's that was their last three cards. Or like their four cards were Sahili, Mox Amber, Lava Coil, Spell Pierce. Wow. Fight with a dragon's rage. Come to me. <laughs> that was like four awesome cards there to have for like their last four it just all worked out really well and, uh, this is this is over they didn't minus their sarkin neither never seen water this, no is, this is over it's a healy no Plus those three cheap spells. GG's. I need them to minus Sarkin so that I can strike Sarkin. Do I have your attention now? I will call the dragons. They are not doing. I guess I should have just taken Sarkin with a duress a long time ago for how this played out. Obviously, a lot of factors went into that.
We draw Fiery Cannonade and Elder Scorborn. Or, sorry, and uh, Elder Spell. And we'd still die to the that new Mobilized District they just played. GG. I guess I could have taken Prison Realm. I think Teferi was the wrong choice. I think I should have taken Prison Realm or Sarkin. With that duress. I didn't think we were losing that match, honestly. How we how we beat that deck the round before, I thought we were going to again. But we didn't. <laughs> hey hey Crimson Rum. Yeah, that was just what an incredible turn by them for you know, they had four cards that we didn't know about, you know, like after their draw step. And you know, I thought we were we had the two butchers, I thought we were gonna be good. And their four cards turned out turned out to be Sahili and then Mox Amber and Lava Coil and then also Spell Pierce that you could cast with like that Mox Amber and just play all those spells. That just that just killed us. Um So yeah, that's uh that's Rakdos Midrange. Did okay with it, for sure. It felt like I don't know, Reveler was okay. Butcher was okay. Didn't we couldn't get like ahead very often or set it up. I don't know, we just you know, like there's times like that last game where we couldn't hit our land drops, just couldn't get that fifth land. You know, like how if we just draw the fifth land and, and slay a Mangrath like that last game we win, you know, before the Sahili turn. If we if we were playing Angrath, I think we win that. Didn't happen. But then there's a lot of other games where we just had tons of lands. Just kind of that uh that kind of day today. Uh question is would War Boss be good in this deck? I think so. I think if not in the main in the sideboard, I love War Boss these days. I think War Boss is awesome. I would I would love to have War Boss like in those kind of matchups. Um, yeah. Yeah, War Boss is War Boss is great. Um, is Gutter Bones better than Duress? No, I don't think so. I don't think this is really a Gutter Bones deck. The Lie of the Stages were these didn't feel very good. Like we're we're not really turning on Spectacle too much. I didn't really like these. I kind of want to either go smaller or bigger than what we are. I either want to go, like, a lot more aggro with, like, the light of the stages and stuff. And then, like, less, like, Bedevil, Rampage, Duress, and, like, less of these things and go a lot more aggro. Or I want to go bigger with, like, I don't know, more, you know, like, 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 Ugin or Liliana or just, like, I don't know, other things like Elvis Reborn or something. You know, go bigger, like, away from, like, these little things. I don't know. I didn't love exactly where we were here. Um, what decks do you think this has a favorable matchup against? I think we are good against, like, that Jeskai deck, honestly. I I think, like, how those games played out, I think that we... Like, I think that's a, that's a good matchup for us, the Jeskai Planeswalker deck. That's one that I would like to be playing, like, this deck against. Uh, so if you have, like, a ton of those Jeskai Planeswalkers, like, yes, we did lose that last one. Um, I think I think a couple of things. I think if I would have taken Sarkin or Prison Realm instead with the Duress, we would have had a, a good shot. Also, if we just drew our fifth land, we definitely easily win. Um, and also, if our opponent didn't just have exactly Sahili plus, like, all those spells, like that one turn, you know. But how, how those games were playing out, that felt really good for us. Um, yeah, and it was my first time playing it, too. You know, and so, you know, playing cold, like a, a new deck, not really seen it before, not, and everything, first time playing it. Um, I, well, of course, I, I like the new, I like that, the new Judith deck myself, the, the Judith Priest deck that we played the other day. I like this deck a lot. That's like going a little lower. Yeah. This is a similar kind of deck, but I like this one. Myself. All right, but there we go. That's uh, Rakdos Midrange. 
fun deck. Thank you very, thank you, Joy, for the donation deck there. Um, you know, definitely like playing something different, like trying out new cards, and that was pretty interesting playing light at the stage in a bigger deck like this. That was definitely interesting. So there we go. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit the like button and the subscribe button over there. Uh, but that